Hi, good morning, my dear. In this session, we will discuss the format of balance sheet. So, in that format, so here, as a balance sheet, we have two hands. One hand liabilities, in other hand asset. So here, then we are going to first one the equity and liabilities. So before the the format of balance sheet as an as an is here. What is the specified date in the question? And the specified date we need to mention here. So under the below format, one column for particulars, next column for notes, and one more column for the amount column. This is what format. So under that format, the first one equity and liabilities. So here equity is nothing but capital. So in the first few already people sir discuss. So there is an equation. So assets are equal to liabilities plus capital, right? This is what equation. So here liabilities plus capital. Capital is nothing but here liquidity, right? So equity and liabilities. Under that first hand, we need to discuss what are the various transactions we can record under the equity and liabilities. So here under first one, the first hand is shareholder funds. So here shareholder funds means first one first hand to record share capital. Here the share capital whether it be either equity share capital or preferred share capital. The first one share capital in that amount column just we need to write excess value because this is what format only we don't need to write any values. Second one reserves and surplus. So here the reserves and surplus means whether including either profit and loss account for the year all these transactions we can record under this shareholder funds. So in that amount column just excess values. So here in this shareholder fund these much of transactions we can record. So here. So in that amount column total we need to make total these total balance we can call total shareholder funds. This is what we can make as A. So this is what first end in that equity and liabilities. The second one non-current liabilities. Here non-current liabilities means those liabilities are long terms. So here let me make long term borrowings, long term borrowings and long term loans. I mean debentures, all these transactions we can record under in this headline, in that amount column, just addition XX values. So under this headline, we can record only long-term borrowings as well as long-term loans including debentures. So here debentures is nothing but borrowed capital only. So those, like, those loans we are borrowed more than 12 months. That loans we can call as long-term loans and borrowings. So here now we need to make total. This is why total non-current liabilities have to be shown by the left B value. A means total shareholder funds, B means total non-current liabilities. The next heading here, the third one, current liabilities. So here the current liabilities within the 12 months period of time, those liabilities will be settled. Like here, short term borrowings first one, short term borrowings, XX values, second one. Trade payable. So here trade payable means nothing but bills payable or accounts payables. So this is also current liabilities here. In the trade payables including creditors also. The next one other current liabilities. Other current liabilities as well as short term provisions. Short term provisions whatever the outstanding expenses, outstanding salaries, outstanding rent during there. All these transactions we can record under that other short term provisions. So now we need to make all these total. So yes, the total balance we show XX only. So these balance we can call total current liabilities C. So as of now, up to we have discussed total shareholder funds, total non-current liabilities as well as total current liabilities. But now we need to know what is the total equity and liabilities value. So the next one Total equity and liabilities will be at A value plus B value plus C value. Now, you will be made A plus B plus C. The total balance will be record in that amount column only. So, these much of transactions we can record under the liabilities. I mean, equity and liabilities. So, here, after the completion of equity and liabilities, the second hidden here, the next one, assets. So here the assets can be broadly classified into two categories. 
the acids will be brought in gas phase into two categories. One is non-current acids. Under that non-current acids, we can record different types of transactions. The first one, fixed acids. Under the fixed assets, we have two types of assets, tangible assets and intangible assets. So here tangible assets means those assets which can easily transferable from one person to another person like land and building, plant and history, furnitures, all these things we can record under tangible assets. The second one, intangible assets. Intangible assets means those assets which we can't be able to transfer one from person to another person. Like trademarks, goodwill, copyrights, these are the various examples for intangible assets. So under the fixed assets, there are two types of assets we can record. One is tangible assets, second one intangible assets. The next one are the non-current assets. Other non-current assets we can record under the non-current assets only. The second one is there any non-current investments in the business? Non-current investments. So here all these kind of assets we can record under that non-current assets. So this is what total non-current assets. So here all these assets we can record under the non-current assets. So here again under the assets again we have one more type of assets. First of all, the assets we can convert it as well into two types, non-current assets and current assets, right? Under the non-current assets, all these various transactions we can record. The second one, current assets. Under the current assets, the first one current investments. Is there any current investments in the business space on the day we can record under this? Okay, okay, so we, the second one is there any inventories. So here inventories means nothing but stock in the business. The next one, trade payables. Trade payables means we got accounts payables or bills payables. So in this trade payables including letters also. The next one, short-term loans and advances. Short-term loans and Advances. Finally, is there any other current assets in the business means other than you can take up here? Other current assets. So all these kind of transactions we can record under the current assets. Now we need to be total. This is what total balance. This total balance we can call it as Total current assets B. Just we have classified other non-current assets as well as current assets. But we need to know the value of total assets, right? The next step. Total assets A value plus B value. So here A means nothing but total non-current assets. B means nothing but total current assets. A means total non-other current. I mean 
प्रीवियस वाले में आज नॉन करंट असेट्स एंड द सेकंड वन करंट असेट्स बोथ द वैल्यूज नो यूनिट में टोटल दिस इज व्हाट टोटल वैल्यू ऑफ असेट्स इन द बिजनेस सो ये ऑलवेज असेट्स आर इक्वल्स टू लायबिलिटी स्पेस कैपिटल सो दिस इज व्हाट फॉर्मेट फॉर ऑफ बैलेंस शीट सो दिस इज व्हाट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वे बिकॉज For the six mark question as well as in the next chapter, twelve mark questions. This is what are made very important. So in the next session, we will discuss the problems are related to this balance sheet. Thank you, students.